what inspired you to become an actor? I was about your age and they did a school play and um, I thought that it was probably a really good way to meet people and to get with a group of like-minded people that weren't going to get into trouble and that would be sort of focused on something. And even at 10 or 11, I love film like you guys obviously do. And I thought that's something which I'd like to do. What's it like making a big movie? Making movies is, uh, is what I love doing. And once the camera is going, it's the same whatever the budget is. Making a movie is like writing a book. It's forever. You know, it's not like a play. If you do a play, who sees it, sees it. And if you miss it, you miss it. A film is forever. It's you've got the DVD. When my little boys are 13, 14 maybe, I'll show them that. And for me, that's a great thing to do. But the truth is that it doesn't really matter what the budget is. When you're making a film, it's about storytelling. And the success of a film is based on the fact whether you tell that story well or you tell it badly. Vomitorium? So It's embarrassing. Just grow up, all right? Grow up? Yeah. Oh, because yesterday Mum was saying how she shouldn't act beyond my years. No, it does leave her with mixed messages, darling, because we're trying to communicate to her how to enjoy childhood. I just want her to stop saying vomitorium, all right? Yeah. Oi, it's not funny. Because you've been in, like, movies with, like, different genres, such as, like, action or comedy, like, what's your favourite genre you like to act in? It's a good question, a very good question. It's difficult because, luckily for me, there's, there's sort of different types of actors. There's leading actors, like Jeremy, who's a young kid from Great Expectations. And there's another sort of area of acting called character actors, which is kind of what I do. As you can see, the way I look changes a lot. And those parts, for me, are much more exciting because you literally look in the mirror and you don't recognise yourself. And for me, acting is about that transformation, turning into someone that you're not. What's your favourite film you've acted in? You know what, I, I think, I'm not sure how many of you have seen it, but there's a great film which I love called The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I love it, one, because it's a great story, but two, when you work on a film like that where the director, you know, the actresses, every technician, even the coffee maker was the best in, in America, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone was the best. And that lifts you, it lifts you. And as a, as a young actor, not that I'm a young actor now, but as a young actor, I dreamt of working with the greats, you know, like working with the best in the business. It's directed by a man called David Fincher. And uh, for me, that, without being too dramatic, because I did that film, anything else after that film is gravy. Because it's like, when I grew up, I wanted to make a great film. And I think that, that is that great film. Time for everything. True enough. You're direct. I don't mean to be rude, but... Uh... Your hands. Is that painful? Well, I was born with some form of disease. What kind of disease? I was born old. So I've watched <clears throat> The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. It's an amazing film. And it hit me when, like, you, th you the father, disowned a child. How did you get into that? Like, it's really, Thanks. yeah. And I found this thing called um, Le Col de Shalot. Shalot's an onion. A col means school. So it's a school of onion. So what I do is I get an onion and I go like that. Ah, ah, ah. And I go, ah, ah, ah. And I go, ah, turn over. And they go, action. And I go. <laughs> so that's the way I do it. the best and worst things about being an actor? There's a lot of, being an actor, there's a lot of waiting around, but there's also a lot of, um, you don't, like, I don't know what I'm doing in January. When January comes, you guys all know you're coming back to school, right? You know exactly where you're going to be at Christmas. You probably know what you're going to be doing next summer. I have no idea. Now, I enjoy that. I love that because it means you're like living like a gypsy. You don't quite know where, even though I've got a family and a house and I know roughly what the frame of my life is, I still enjoy the fact that what happens tomorrow is new and I don't know what it's going to be, I don't know where I'm going to be in the world. So I think it's the best and the worst. The best is not knowing and the worst is not knowing. Um, if you weren't an actor, what career would have you fulfilled? I think film, I mean you guys are obviously interested in film, not all of you will become actors, but film's all encompassing, there's so much, you know, wherever your strengths lie, there's a job for you in film or TV, you know, whether it's whether it's your organisational skills, you become line producers, producers, very well paid jobs I might add. Whether it's uh, you know, artistically, hair and makeup, costume, 
if you're really, if you never miss a trick, continuity, the people who make sure that, you know, everything's the same every time you take those takes. So if I wasn't an actor, I'd have ended up in film. Probably, I'd have probably gone into stunts, something like that, I think, because I'm quite physical and I enjoy that side of the work. You do a lot of acting at... Uh, in front of a camera, but have you uh, ever considered doing like uh, voice acting where you might have to speak into it because it might be why like there's animated films or something? Well, we've just come this morning from a voiceover. I do do a lot of voiceovers, but um, the, the, I'd love to do animated movies. You mean like Shrek and stuff like that? I'd love to do that, but it's actually quite difficult to get into. Um, but I'm ver if you know anyone, I'm available. <laughs> 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 Let me just give you one bit of advice, okay? This is one thing just to remember, right? Opportunity looks like hard work, and it is. But take the opportunities you see, however small they are, whether it's in a media, like you're doing media studies. If someone says, you know, if your teacher says, we're going to make a short film, who wants to do this? Whatever, don't even listen to what she says, just put your hand up. Whatever it is, put your hand up and do it. Because it's all experience. And life is about confidence, as you know, man. You stood up today and asked a question. That, it seems silly, but it makes you nervous. It makes you, but the more confident you get, the more questions you're prepared to ask. And those of you who didn't ask a question today, that doesn't matter either. But life is about confidence, and confidence comes through experience. So take your opportunities and use them.